Hi beauties, it's Jean Persani with Beauty and the Stamper. And you know, I don't think I really talk about this very much, but I'm with Chalk Couture. I am a demonstrator of sorts, but you guys, I belong to Club Couture. And what that means is every month they send me a different um, screen print. So I wanted to open it with you. It says inspiration inside. And it's a chalk transfer. You ready? Let's see what it is. It says looking sharp. Oh, and it's a little porcupine. Is that what it is? It's really cute. So what you want to do with these is you cut them all up here. And then you write on the back of what it is. Then you're going to use this on a chalkboard and let me go ahead and show you how that's done. Okay, let's get started. What you want to do is you want to get your base that you're going to be putting this on. For me, this is a slab that I just picked up at um, Daiso. And so it'd be really cute just to have out um, sitting on a table or desk or sitting upward and so I'm gonna go ahead and use this you also are gonna get your stirring stick and some little squeegees there because we're gonna check out our pastes and see how those are because they will dry up they are chalk so what you want to do is you're gonna open that up and see exactly how you stand on your chalk so you're just going to take it and move it around there. Now if it is not, it should have the consistency of like a Greek yogurt. And if you don't have that, just have a little, little bit of water there and put a little bit of water on there and that'll get that right back up and nice and then you just move it around like this so then you'll get exactly what you're looking for so we're going to go ahead and get all that off there I'm going to put the lid back on I'm going to move that piece there you can um, work this right back in to your chalk if you need be but since we're on a little bit of a Time constraint, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to set this off and then I'm going to take just a baby wipe or a rag and get rid of all that excess so we could work on our next color. We're going to put that down and let's go ahead and start with our little hedgehog body here. We're going to put him right here. He's super cute. We're going to put that down. Really get those edges. And we are going to get our little squeegee, get it on here, put it nice and plentiful on here, and go ahead and cover up those little register marks as well. And you're going to go inward because you don't want your uh, chalk to go underneath the, the lines. And then you get that little register mark there. And that should be good. 
you could see even though it had some lumps in there it pulled off rather nicely and there we go all you're going to do is stick that in your water and that will clean that off now you've got your little hedgehog the only thing we need now and I'm going to put this and clean this little guy up a little bit and okay I showed you this guy I'm going to clean all that extra off because I was a little bit messy there but I still next time I use this I don't want it to be dry so I'm going to wipe this all off I know you guys some people make it look so easy I'll tell you it's fun it is fun <laughs> but for me this is not the easiest you guys always say oh you make it look so easy well here you go this is me learning as well but you know what I still became a designer I guess is what they call it I still became a designer because I still I like it and I have fun but I want to use my discount so okay next thing I'm gonna take that same water and I'm gonna spray along the top before I close it in and then that'll keep it moist that's my hard part right here is, is I was excuse me I wasn't patient enough to close it the right way there are reasons for everything as to what happened <laughs> I'm gonna clean this off and I'm not worried this is chalk and again it'll come off with just some water but now we're gonna move on I'm done with the um, what color is this it's a light pink so again I'm gonna take that and spritz it right on there and you can put as little or as much as you'd like you don't want it to get too watered down and then let's go ahead and open that yellow guy up now we've got those register marks we're gonna take I said I, re I said red yellow but that's not the color I want to do I actually want to do the pink so we're gonna take those register marks line it up nicely and you can see the register marks on there and then that'll line up with this so I just sprayed water on the one that I wanted to save so that's okay that just means I get to go back here and mix it all up again I'm going to take that out and put it right on here. I'm going to take my mini squeegee and do the same thing. We're going to bring it inward as not to get it on the underneath. And then we're just going to lift that guy up and look how nicely it fit in there and then I just stick that in the water and put that right back in there Woo! made a mess but now I know where that head goes right this is going to dry for a bit so I'm going to get the looking sharp put that right on here you may just want to have your own towel 
that is designated for this. Otherwise, you could probably go through a nice group of baby wipes. And then you're going to remove these little registers as well. Actually, I'm not going to remove both of them because I still need to put the nose on. So you remove the register afterwards. But we do have our Looking Sharp. And I've got my Squeegee. We're just going to put that right on here. This one's going to be a little bit harder. Just going to go down and then up and then down and up because I don't want it to get all over. I want it to leave a nice print there. So there we go. We've got our looking sharp. Now let's add our little nose while I have the yellow out. Again, we're going to line these up with the register. And we give, we've given them enough time there. We're just going to put a little bit there. And some cheeks as well. Now we move that. Look at how cute that is. Super cute. It took a minute to get there. Oh, we got there. Look at that little guy. So adorable. And you can put that out. And guess what? When you're ready to change it, you just put water on it and it changes out. So let's go ahead and get rid of that little last register now. Any parts that may not have, that you may not have wanted. If you have a little bit on your letters, you can move that around as well. You could also take a little paintbrush, get that nice and lined up there, and get rid of any little additional parts that you don't want there. Look at that. Gone. A little tiny bit there, gone. And there you go. That was cute. That was quick. That was easy. Like, it was easy, but you know, you have to really take care of your pace. So that is the tip for today is to make sure you take care of your um, chalks and keep them nice and moist. So for those of you who do not like that word, I apologize. I am one of them. <laughs> so I'm with you. But that doesn't mean we don't need to keep those nice for our next use. All right, beauties, have a wonderful day. Please give me a thumbs up if you want your own chalk tour. The information's down below. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.